You're going to switch with me because this has flowers on it, and I don't want to hold that. <laughs> Let's declare this together. This is my Bible. Both the Old and New Testaments are verbally inspired of God and are the revelation of God to man, the infallible, authoritative rule of faith and conduct. Amen? Amén. Vamos a levantar nuestras Biblias. Esta es mi Biblia. Las Escrituras, tanto el Antiguo Testamento como el Nuevo Testamento, son verbalmente inspiradas por Dios y son la revelación de Dios al hombre, la regla infalible e inapelable de fe y conducta. Amén. Amén. So this month we're starting a brand new sermon series titled Fully Loaded. Este mes comenzamos una serie nueva llamada Completamente Cargados. That's good. <laughs> Bishop sent that to me and, and all these machine guns and knives and everything came to my mind. <laughs> Immediately, I, I was like, oh, man, down, oh. You know, that's what you think of, but the, the title is fully loaded for this month. El tema para este mes es completamente cargados. It's going to be a powerful month where we come to understand Va a ser un mes poderoso donde vamos a poder entender the benefits of having a relationship with God. Los beneficios de tener una relación con Dios. It's going to be a powerful month, you don't want to miss it. Va a ser un mes poderoso, tú no te lo quieres perder. But the title of today's message for your notes if you have notes. Pero el tema para hoy, el mensaje de hoy si tienes que tomar notas is the benefits of God's presence. Es el beneficio de la presencia de Dios. I'm going to say it again and the benefits of God's presence. Y lo vamos a decir otra vez, es el beneficio de la presencia de Dios. I have to tell you that studying this it, it, it excited me. I absolutely loved studying this topic. Tengo que decirte me encantó estudiar este tópico, me puso a mí bien es um, bien contento estudi estudiarlo. But I came to the understanding that there are two representations of God's presence. Pero vine a entender que hay dos representaciones de la presencia de Dios. Simply we just say God's presence. Yeah, yeah, it's God's presence. We know. Mucha gente dice es la presencia de Dios y es la presencia de Dios sabemos eso. But there are two representations of it. Are you ready for them? Pero hay dos representaciones de ellas. ¿Está listo para ellas? Here they are. The first one. Aquí son las primeras. Is his omnipresence. Es su omnipresencia. His omnipresence. This means that he is in all places at all times. Su omnipresencia. ¿Qué quiere decir que él está en todos lugares a todo tiempo? There is no place you can go where God isn't there. No hay lugar donde tú puedes decir que Dios no está ahí. So his omnipresence. Su omnipresencia. Omnipresencia. Second. Segundo. There is his manifest presence. Es su presencia manifesta. This is when he becomes active in your now. Así es cuando él se activa en tu presente. The difference between the two is saying God is everywhere and saying God is here. La diferencia entre las dos es decir Dios está en todos sitios que decir Dios está aquí. It's important that we get this because most people get lost in his omnipresence. Es importante que entendamos esto porque mucha gente se pierde en su omnipresencia. But just because he's in my life, it doesn't mean he's doing something active in my now. Pero solo porque él está en mi vida no quiere decir que él está haciendo algo activo en mi presente. I know a lot of people yo sé, conozco muchas personas who have told me stories about how they grew up. Que me han dicho historias de cómo ellos crecieron. I've heard stories like this. Yo he escuchado historias como estas. Well, my dad was, was always there, was always around. Mi papá siempre estuvo ahí, siempre estaba con nosotros. But he was never there. Pero él nunca estaba ahí. I had him at home. Yo lo tenía en la casa. When I came home after school, my dad was, was at the house. Cuando llegaba de la escuela, mi papá estaba en la casa. But he was never there when it mattered. Pero nunca estaba ahí cuando verdaderamente importaba. I had access to him. Tenía acceso hacia él. But he was never made manifest in my life. Pero él nunca se manifestó en mi vida. That's because their dad, or in that situation, their father was omnipresent, but never made manifest in their life. Es porque en ese momento el padre estaba omnipresente, pero nunca fue manifesto en su vida. But see, God's omnipresence doesn't just mean that he's everywhere at all times. Pero la, la omnipresencia de Dios no quiere decir que él está presente en todo momento en tu vida. But it means that I have access to him at all times. Pero quiere decir que yo tengo acceso hacia él en todo momento. See, something amazing happened when the veil was torn when Jesus died. Y algo grandioso pasó cuando el velo fue rasgado. Matthew 27:51 says. Mateo 27:51 dice. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Mateo 27:51 dice. Y he aquí el velo del templo se rasgó en dos de arriba a abajo y la tierra tembló y las rocas se penetraron. You see, the veil used to stand for the thing that separated us from the presence of God. 
El velo significaba lo que lo que separaba las personas de la presencia de Dios. It was the sin that tarnished and stained us. Era el pecado lo que lo, lo que nos mancha, lo que los manchaba. In order to walk into the presence of God, y para ello poder caminar en la presencia de Dios. In that time you had to be a priest. En ese momento tú tenías que ser un sacerdote. You had to be a person qualified to enter his presence. Tenías que ser una persona cualificada para entrar a su presencia. But thank you Jesus for dying on the cross for my sin. Pero gracias a Jesús por morir en su, la cruz por mi pecado. Thank you Jesus for th for taking my sin and taking it to hell and leaving it there forever. Gracias a Jesús por tomar mi pecado y llevarlos al infierno y dejarlos ahí por siempre. Thank you Jesus for making the unqualified qualified. Gracias Jesús por hacer el que no estaba calificado hacerlo calificado. I need somebody to shout thank you Jesus. Necesito que alguien grite gracias Jesús. Romans 8:17. Romanos 8, 17. It says, and I'll read the whole thing, I'll let you read the whole thing. It says, now if we are children, then we are heirs or heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings in order that we may also share in his glory. Romanos 8, 17 dice, y si hijos, también herederos, herederos de Dios y coherederos con Cristo. Si es que padecemos juntamente con Él, para que juntamente con Él seamos glorificados. So listen to this. When I think about my qualifications, I don't think about being a priest or anyone specific. Y cuando yo pienso en mis calificaciones, no pienso en yo ser como un sacerdote o alguien cualificado. Because this verse tells me that if I am a child of God. Porque este verso me dice que si yo soy un hijo de Dios. If I make the decision, Lord, you are my Lord and Savior. Then this verse says that I am an heir of God and a co-heir with Christ. Y este verso entonces dice que yo soy heredero y coheredero de Cristo. How many know jazz and melody? Anybody know jazz and melody? ¿Cuántos conocen a jazz y a melodía? Our, our pastor's kids, right? Los hijos de nuestros pastores. Ja melody was just is she anointed or what? And every time jazz is behind the drums, it's it, it's it's like a big miracle for most people. They're like, I don't care who else is on the drums. Jazz on the drums, I want to watch. I'm there, <laughs> right? Because there's an anointing behind an instrument. It's not just a voice. Yeah, hay una unción especial en en jazz cada vez que él toca la batería. But if you know them, there's something special about being the children to the pastor. Pero si tú los conoces, hay algo especial en ellos por ser los hijos de los pastores. Because of who their father is. Porque quién es su padre. Not just anyone can go into that office when Bishop is there. No todos pueden ir a esa oficina cuando el obispo está ahí. But because of their relationship with the person that is in the office, they are heirs and have access to his presence. Pero por la relación que hay entre ellos, ellos tienen acceso para entrar en su oficina. The Bible tells me that I am an heir and co-heir with Christ. La Biblia me dice que yo soy heredero y coheredero en Cristo. The Bible also tells me when Jesus died on the cross for my sins. La palabra también me dice cuando Jesús murió en la cruz por mis pecados. That he deposited with into me his spirit. Que él depositó en mí su espíritu. And if I have the spirit within me. Y si yo tengo su espíritu en mí. And that says that I am a, a, a joint heir with Christ. Y si dice que yo soy coheredero con Cristo. Then I have access to all of the power, miracles, signs and wonders of God. Yo tengo entonces acceso a todas las maravillas de Dios. When you decide, cuando tú das tu diezmo, and when you had already decided for some of you, cuando ya tú has decidido por algunos de ustedes, that Jesus would be your Lord and Savior, que Dios va a ser tu Dios tu Salvador, you gained access to all that is His. Tú tomas acceso a todo lo que es de él. Jeremiah 29:13. Jeremías 29:13. It says, "You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart." Dice, y me buscaréis y me hallaréis porque me buscaréis de todo vuestro corazón. He didn't put any other conditions on there. He just said, if you just seek me with all your heart. Él no puso otras condiciones ahí. Él solo dijo, si me buscas con todo tu corazón. Because of what Christ did, we will always have access to God. Por lo que Cristo hizo, siempre tendremos acceso ante Dios. But what are the benefits? Let's go further. What are the benefits of God's presence? Pero ¿cuáles son los beneficios de la presencia de Dios? What are the benefits of having access to God? ¿Cuáles son los beneficios de tener acceso a Dios? I'm going to go over three different things. I want you to write these down. If you have a phone, if you have a pen, get these things written. Quiero que tú escribas esto. Vamos a tocar tres puntos y quiero que tú los escribas. Point number one is you always have access to God. The first benefit of his presence is you always have access to God. El primer beneficio de su presencia es que tú siempre tienes acceso para Dios. We're going into the scriptures today. 
David writes in Psalm 139, 7 through 12. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to let this, uh, Sister Mar uh, Jamari read it. It says, where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, the, the light uh, and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. He is everywhere. Salmo 139 del 7 al 12 dice, ¿A dónde me iré de tu espíritu y a dónde huiré de tu presencia? Si subiere a los cielos, allí tú estás. Y si en el Seol hiciere mi estrado, he aquí, allí tú estás. Si tomare las alas del alba y habitare en el extremo del mar, aún allí me guiará tu mano y me aizará tu diestra. Si dijere, ciertamente las tinieblas me encubrirán, aún la noche resplandecerá alrededor de mí. Aún las tinieblas no encubren de ti y la noche resplandece como el día. Lo mismo te son las tinieblas que la luz. Amén. There was a moment in the book of Exodus where, moment, where Moses was questioning the mission that God was sending him on. Había un momento en el libro de Éxodos donde Moisés estaba cuestionando, cuestionando la misión que Dios lo había enviado. And God said to him, y Dios le dijo a él, My presence will go with you. I will give you rest. Mi presencia irá contigo, yo te daré descanso. My presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Mi presencia irá contigo y yo te daré descanso. The next time you want to go off on your boss? La próxima vez que tú quieras um, salirle a tu jefe o, o yeah, so mismo, salirle eso, a tu jefe. Eso sonó tremendo. <laughs> next time you you want to you want to you want to have an argument with a, with a friend? La próxima vez que tú quieras tener un, una discusión con tu amigo? Remember that you have access to God. The next time you're hurt, remember that you have access to God. The next time you're lonely and angry, remember that you have access to God. Oh, and you just lost your friend. But you still have access to God. So you're on the brink of divorce. But you still have access to God. You lost your job. You were abused, but you can't seem to heal. You're addicted to the substance and you want freedom. I'm here to remind you that you have access to God because you are a joint heir of Christ. Estoy aquí para recordarte que tú tienes acceso a Dios porque eres el heredero de Cristo. Point one, you always have access to God. Punto número uno, tú siempre tienes acceso ante Dios. Number two, one of the benefits of God's, of being near God's presence, of being in God's presence is you have protection from the enemy. Número dos, uno de los beneficios de estar en la, en la presencia de Dios es que tú siempre tienes protección de tus enemigos. Like I said, we're going in the word right now. Psalm 91, 1 and 2 says. Como dije, vamos a entrar a la palabra. Vamos a entrar a la palabra mucho. Salmo 91, del 1 al 2 dice. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him who I trust. El que habita al abrigo del Altísimo morará bajo la sombra del omnipotente diré yo a Jehová esperanza y mía y castillo mío mi Dios en quien confiaré who likes war movies quien le gusta las películas uh, de uh, guerra uh, what, was the, what was my favorite one of my favorites is Black Hawk Down it's one of my favorites first of all okay one of the best war movies you can oh, Black Hawk Down it? you don't have to translate that <laughs> it's just a movie of, of, of a title uh, it's a title of a movie favorita de, de guerra. right there's a lot of them Hurt Locker anybody see Hurt Locker That's a good one. Uh, uh, um, something of Honor. Oh, Pearl Harbor. Amazing movie. But something that you'll notice in war movies is you get a taste for what battle feels like. Pero algo que tú notas um, en las películas de guerra es que tú puedes um, probar lo que se siente el campo de batalla. If you watch these movies, you see the soldiers in the battle. Si tú miras estas películas, tú ves los soldados en las batallas. And those of them who are fully loaded y aquellos que están completamente cargados are the most confident in the battle. son los más confidentes en las batallas. 
Porque ellos saben lo que tienen y ellos saben lo que pueden lo que pueden tirar. But there's a moment when they realize, wait, I'm running out of ammunition. Pero hay un momento cuando ellos se dan de cuenta que están corriendo sin municiones. And I have to reload. Y yo tengo que recargar. I have to refill. Tengo que rellenar. And when that moment comes, they have to find something solid and safe so that they can be hidden. Y cuando ese momento llega, ellos tienen que encontrar un lugar seguro para que ellos puedan esconderse. Something where they can reload and out, and they'll be out of the danger zone. Don, un lugar donde ellos puedan recargar y puedan estar fuera de la zona de peligro. That's what God does for us. Eso es lo que Dios hace por nosotros. God gives us his manifest presence. Dios nos da su presencia manifesta. Because when we need a manifestation of his presence. Porque cuando necesitamos una manifestación de su presencia. When we need him to show up in our lives and in our situations. Cuando necesitamos que aparezca en nuestra vida y en nuestras situaciones. Our ability to find him anywhere. Nuestra habilidad de encontrarlo en todos lugares. His omnipresence. Su omnipresencia. Allows us to find the time to reload. Nos permite encontrar un lugar para recargar. There's no one that can be firing all cylinders all the time. No hay nadie que pueda tirar um, todos los cilindros a la misma vez. We weren't built to do that. No fuimos creados para hacer eso. We were built to fire when it's our turn, but there's a time of retreat where we are where we are to reload. Fuimos creados para tirar en todo tiempo, pero hay un momento que tenemos que recargar. And in that time, God keeps us safe. Y en ese momento Dios nos mantiene seguros. God will protect us from the enemy. Dios nos protegerá por el enemigo. One of my favorite, I want to add this, I, I had this saved for, for another time, but one of, my, one of my favorite things is God's presence is not just where you think it is. Quiero añadir esto, la presencia de Dios no es lo que tú crees que es. We look at God's presence and we're like, oh, I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk into it, I'm going bask in his presence, right? There's a music I listen to, it's called soaking music. It means you soak in the presence of God. Like, yeah, being drowned in almost, yeah. Okay, but, but his presence isn't just something necessary that I walk into. Pero su presencia no es necesariamente algo que yo camino en ella. Earlier we talked about how his presence is in us. Anteriormente hablamos de cómo era su presencia en nosotros. So to be in God's presence means to be with you. Y estar en la presencia de Dios quiere decir estar contigo. Another war reference. Otra referencia de guerra. What, typically, and this was, a, uh, this was in another movie I saw, I forget the name of it. Típicamente, y esto fue en otra película que yo vi, se me olvidó el nombre de ella. You got these frontline men. They're crouching, they're, they're going in, they're trying to, to, to go into the enemy lines. But as that's happening, there may be a possibility that the enemy is coming against them. Pero mientras eso está pasando, hay una posibilidad que el enemigo venga en contra de ellos. And so they're trying to break in, but they're taking enemy fire. Y ellos están tratando de, de llegar, pero también están recibiendo el fuego del enemigo. And there may be a moment that they have to reload. Y hay, quizás hay un momento donde ellos tengan que recargar. But, 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 but then you look back and there's a sniper way in the back, way in the back. Pero de, luego tú miras hacia atrás y hay una pistola grande bien atrás. And while the person is reloading, the sniper's taking out the defense. Pero mientras la persona está recargando, ellos están tomando las defensas. Why? Because God's presence isn't just something he does within himself. Porque la presencia de Dios no es algo que él hace solo él, solo él. God's presence is manifest in us. La presencia de Dios se manifiesta en nosotros. As we serve each other and as we support each other, God's presence is surrounding us. Mientras nos servimos el uno al otro, la presencia de Dios nos rodea. Because we are and we manifest the spirit of God within us. Porque nosotros somos y manifestamos el espíritu de Dios que está en nosotros. Guys, some of us must, might be in a place right now where you've been firing for years donde tú and you're wounded and tired because you ran out of ammo. Y ya no más balas. Guys, I'm here on assignment today. Yo estoy aquí con una asignación hoy. I'm here to encourage you and remind you that you have access and he will protect you when you reload. Yo estoy aquí para alentarte y para recordarte que él te protegerá mientras tú recargas. Don't be afraid to take the time. No tengas temor de tomarte el tiempo. To just, to just get more of him. De solamente tomar más de él. I know church, church is phenomenal. Church is a place that we can come be discipled and we can eat of the word. Yo sé que la iglesia es fenomenal, la iglesia es donde podemos venir y ser discipulados, donde podemos comer de él. But his presence is with you all 
the time. Pero su presencia está contigo en todo momento. You know you can have him when you're eating breakfast. Sabe que tú puedes tenerlo cuando estás comiendo desayuno. You know you can have him when you're driving on your way to work. Sabe que puedes tenerlo cuando estás guiando hacia el trabajo. You know that when that boss of yours is is driving you nuts and you want to go the opposite way with it. Sabe cuando el jefe te está volviendo loco y tú quieres irte por el lado opuesto. Did you know that God was right there? Tú sabes que Dios está ahí. That last thing that you said to the person you love. Esa última palabra que tú dijiste esa persona que tú Did you amas, know that God was right there? Tú sabías que Dios estaba ahí. Call on him. Llámalo a él. Let him know, God, I need you. I want you, God. Déjale saber que tú lo necesitas, que tú quieres a Dios. If you're in a tired or frustrated place, let me remind you the presence of God is right there. Si tú estás en un lugar cansado, déjame recordarte que la presencia de Dios está en todo momento. How many seen the movie 300? This is Sparta. Ah! I was afraid I was actually going to fall off when I did that. <laughs> right? That's the, the Leonidas. Everybody remembers the kick, right? Todos recuerdan la patada. But there's a part of the movie that I love. Pero hay una parte de la película que a mí me encanta. Because there's something about being in the presence of a king. Porque hay algo que es de estar en la presencia. The way that he protects you goes beyond something you understand. La forma que él te protege va a, aún más allá de tu entendimiento. When the enemy is knocking on your door, there's someone always prepared to make you aware of what's coming. Cuando el enemigo está tocando en tu puerta, siempre hay alguien preparado para avisarte de lo que viene. There's a part of the movie where they're, they're about to go towards the enemy lines and they're at a cliff. Hay una parte de la película donde ellos están um, cerca de llegar ya a un, a un abismo. And they, they, they just had, they had, I think they just fought one first opening battle and they, they crushed it. Y yo creo que ellos abrieron como un campo de batalla y ellos lo derribaron. They did great. They won. They won the first round. Ellos ganaron la primera ronda. But they were eating after it was done and they were resting and making jokes with each other. Pero ellos estaban comiendo y estaban relajando de, de cómo ellos lo hicieron. But while they're doing that, the king is out by himself like this amongst them but just walking solemnly by himself. Pero mientras ellos hacían eso, el, jefe, el, el rey está caminando y mirándolo mientras ellos, ellos celebraban. Because while we're not paying attention, the king is always on guard. Because the battle isn't something that finishes at any specific point. And we're going to get into the battle a little bit more because we're fighting from a place of victory. But it does not mean you can walk around as if there's nothing happening around you. Suddenly a loud roaring sound comes from the sky. Um, y, y de momento un ruido viene desde el cielo. And one of the soldiers tells the king, King. Y uno de los soldados le dice al rey, rey. Let's prepare. There's a storm coming. Vamos a prepararnos. Hay una tormenta que viene. The king says, No. Battle formations. It's the sound of war. Y el rey le dice, No. Vamos a formarnos en batallas. Es ese sonido de guerra. Because when our eyes are not keen to what's happening. When our eyes are not seeing what is happening beyond us. The king being in his presence benefits us because he protects us. Leonidas, this is Sparta. <laughs> I'm so little compared to him, so this is weird, but sorry. <laughs> Number three. Número tres. One of the benefits is you will always be equipped for the battle. Uno de los beneficios de estar en su presencia, tú siempre vas a estar equipado para la batalla. Oh, I thought all three of them were up there. That's okay. Number three, you will always be equipped for the battle. Número tres, tú siempre vas a estar equipado para la batalla. Somebody I preach about a lot because I just love him is David. De alguien que yo predico mucho es porque a mí me encanta y es David. I feel like he and I have a very similar life and, and uh, I learn a lot from the guy. Yo siento que él y yo tenemos una vida similar y yo he aprendido mucho de él. I know that he and I will have many conversations at the Domino's table when we are in heaven together. Yo sé que él y yo vamos a tener muchas conversaciones en la mesa de Domino cuando lleguemos al cielo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to play target practice. He's going to get everything with a stone and a sling. I'm, I'm going to do it with a sniper rifle. I still can't do it. But I love the story of David and Goliath, and, and, and I'll probably refer to this story in almost every sermon I preach because I love this story. Y me encanta la historia de David y Goliath, y quizás yo hable de esta historia en cada sermón que yo predico porque solamente me encanta esta historia. 
1 Samuel 17, 40 says, and I'll read it. It says, then he took his staff in his hand, chose five smooth stones from the stream, put them in, his, in the pouch of his shepherd's bag, and with his sling in his hand approached the Philistine. Primera de Samuel 17:40 dice, y tomó su callado en su mano y escogió cinco piedras lisas del arroyo y las puso en el saco pastoril en el surrión que traía y tomó su onda en su mano y se fue hacia el filisteo. Um, if you had rocks and you were walking towards Andre the Giant, you, I probably would call you an idiot. <laughs> si tú tienes Piedra, si tú estás caminando ante un gigante que está furioso, quizás yo te llame que eres un idiota. I can just see Shaq, like you throw a rock at Shaq and he's like, just stop it, leave me alone. Yo puedo imaginarme a Shaq y puedo imaginarme a tirarle piedra y decirle, oh, solamente para, déjame quieto. But I love David because you can tell he's secure in knowing in whose presence he's in. Pero me encanta David porque tú puedes ver que él está seguro sabiendo la presencia de quién él está. He was walking towards the enemy by being, while being in the presence of the Lord. Él estaba caminando hacia el enemigo mientras estaba en la presencia del rey. David understood that he was equipped for the battle he was about to face. David entendía que él estaba equipado para la batalla que él estaba a punto de enfrentar. Now David takes all those stones and he kills Goliath, then he kills Goliath's brothers. Y David toma todas esas piedras y él mata a Goliat y luego mata al hermano de Goliat. Check this out. David had to reload to defeat his enemies, but he was already equipped with the, enemy, with the ammo he needed before the battle. I'll say that again. Okay, yeah. David had to reload to defeat his enemies. Okay, David tuvo que recargar para ellos poder vencer a sus enemigos. But he was already equipped with the ammo he needed. Pero él estaba equipado con todas las municiones, las municiones que él necesitaba. Before going out to the battle. Antes de llegar a la guerra. I gotta add this in. Y tengo que añadir esto. Why, why did he have to reload to Pero, fight one enemy? Pero ¿por qué él tenía que recargar para pelear en contra del enemigo? Because it wasn't the first battle he fought with that weapon. Porque no era la primera batalla que él peleaba con esa arma. Most of us are going into battle. Muchos de nosotros estamos siendo en la guerra. And it, and it seems like it takes us a hundred swings just to get the enemy to, 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 to fall. Y nos parece que no, como que nos toma más de cien um, giros para nosotros ver al enemigo caer. But see, what, what, what we don't understand is most of what David had to do was, was happening before it was in front of people. Pero lo que nosotros no entendemos es que lo más que David tenía que hacer era lo que él hacía antes de llegar en frente de las personas. See, it, Goliath was not David's first giant. Y Goliath no era el primer um, gigante que David vencía. When the bear came. Cuando él, cuando la banda llegó. The bear. O oh, cuando el oso llegó. David said, you're the first one. David le dijo, Tú eres el primero. But because I know whose presence I'm in. You're no soy. match for me. Tú no eres nada más para mí. Then came the lion. Y luego vino el león. Tried to come against him again. De en contra de él And David knew whose presence he was in. Y David sabía en la presencia de quién él estaba. And because he was able to practice that from behind the, from, from, from the private place. Y porque él pudo haber practicado esto en su lugar privado. When he went into the presence of the enemy. Cuando él fue ante la presencia del enemigo. It was more like the enemy was in the presence of God. Era más que la, el enemigo estaba ante la presencia And de when Dios. you can bring the enemy into the presence of God. Y cuando Tú puedes traer al enemigo ante la presencia de Dios. It is Dios. destruction for him. Es algo destructivo para él. Why? ¿Por qué? Because we don't fight for the victory. Porque nosotros no peleamos por la victoria. We fight from the victory. Nosotros peleamos de la victoria. I can almost imagine it took him a little while to get good at the sling. Y casi me puedo imaginar que le tomó un poco de tiempo a, a ponerse bueno con el, con el giro. I can see him practicing with some Mountain Dew cans in the, in the, in the fields. Y lo veo practicando con, con latas en, lo, en los lugares. But when he got good at it. Pero cuando él, él, él llegó a ser bueno en eso. Something esto, special happened. Algo especial aconteció. I need you to understand this. Y necesito que tú entiendas esto. He didn't go to the battle of the giants. Él no fue la, a la batalla del gigante. With 19 stones. Con 19 piedras. Ah. He was equipped already with the amount he needed to kill who he needed to kill. Él fue equipado ya con la cantidad que necesitaba para poder matar a quien necesitaba matar. All he needed was the five stones. Todo lo que necesitaba era esas cinco piedras. When you are equipped for the battle that God is allowing to come against you. Cuando tú estás equipado de ir a la batalla que Dios te ha permitido ir. He equips you to win with one shot. Él te equipa para ganar con solamente un tiro. You know what the shot was? ¿Tú sabes cuál es el tiro? 
your salvation. Tu salvación. When you said, Jesus, I take you as my personal Savior, all sin was wiped away from your slate. Cuando tú dijiste, Jesús, te acepto como mi salvador, todo el pecado fue borrado. I stole part of that line from Bishop this morning. <laughs> y yo tomé esa parte del obispo en esta mañana. But it had a lot to do with what I was preaching, so I took it. Pero tenía que ver mucho con lo que yo estaba predicando, y yo se la tomé. Lastly, I want you to understand something. Y por último, quiero que tú entiendas algo. When he tells you you're equipped, Cuando él te dice que estás equipado, it's not the it's not it's not the weapon. No es la arma. It's not the weapon. No es la arma. I need you to get this. I need you to understand this. It was not the stones. It was the statement. Yo quiero que tú entiendas esto. Entiendas esto. No era las piedras era en el estado que need to write that down somewhere Tú necesitas escribir esto en algún lado. it was not the stone it was the statement this is what the statement was no era las piedras era el estado y este era lo que el estado era you come against me with a sword a spear and a javelin Tú vienes en contra de mí con espada y lanza y jabalina. But I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty Mas the God of the armies of Israel whom have you defied mas yo vengo a ti en el nombre de Jehová de los ejércitos. Is that all of it? Yes. <laughs> When you spend time in the presence of God, you have benefits of his presence. Cuando tú pasas tiempo en la presencia de Dios, tú tienes beneficios de esa presencia. Because you have him all the time. Porque tú lo tienes en todo momento. And because you have, all you have to do is ask. Y porque todo lo que tienes que hacer es pedir. Even though you have to reload every once in a while. Aunque de vez en cuando tú tengas que recargar. Every time you go out to battle. Cada vez que tú vas a la guerra. You are fully loaded for the thing that you have to accomplish. Tú estás completamente cargado para las cosas que tú tienes que alcanzar. There is no enemy that can defeat you. No hay enemigo que pueda derribarte. There is no enemy that can defeat you. No hay enemigo que pueda derribarte. I want you to stand to your feet with me. Yo quiero que tú te pongas de pies. Somebody shout, I am fully loaded. This, alguien grita, estoy completamente cargado. This side killed you guys just now. Let's try that one more time. Ready? I am fully loaded. Yes. Sí, dale. Ahora vamos a decirlo en español. Estoy completamente cargado. I think you get the picture. Man, do you know who you walk with? ¿Tú sabes con quién tú estás caminando? Look, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little dude. Yo voy a ser honesto contigo. Yo soy un hombre pequeño. Al, be quiet. <laughs> I'm a little dude. Yo soy un hombre pequeño. But I fear nothing in this world. Pero yo no le tengo temor a nada en este mundo. Because I know with whom I walk. Porque yo sé con quién yo camino. Because I know in whose presence I live. Porque yo sé en la presencia de quién yo vivo. David said, no place I can hide, no place I can run. David decía, no, lugar, no hay lugar que yo me pueda esconder, que yo pueda correr From his presence. de su presencia. God told Moses, I will go with Moisés, you yo iré contigo, and I will give you rest. Y yo te daré descanso. There's nothing you're facing today, first of all, that hasn't already been defeated. No hay nada que tú estás enfrentando hoy que no ha sido ya derribado. If you made the decision to have Jesus as your personal Savior, si tú tomaste la decisión de tener a Jesucristo como tu salvador personal you fight from a place of victory tú peleas por un lugar de victoria you won already ya tú ganaste but you have a life to live pero tú tienes una vida que vivir so that means you have to practice that, that, that victory over and over pero quiere decir que tú tienes que practicar esa victoria una vez a tras vez is that not the most beautiful thing in the world no es eso lo más precioso del mundo no, don't I love this Don't wait till the enemy comes to you. No espere que el enemigo venga ante ti. Hey! Satan! Come here! Let's dance! Because I already won! I am not afraid of what you can do! Yo no tengo temor de lo que tú Because hacer. greater is he who is in me mayor es el que está conmigo, than he who is in the world. Que el que está con el mundo. It's expected that he's coming. 
el esperado que él venga. The more you get to know God, it's expected that he's coming. Lo más que tú llegas a conocer a Dios es esperado que él llega. And yes, when it's time to reload, still hide in the safety of the Father. Y si cuando es momento de recargar, sí, escóndete en un lugar seguro. Do not fear. Pero no tengas temor. Earlier I said, Jazz and Melody could go into that office whenever they want. Anteriormente yo dije, Jazz y Melody pueden ir a esa oficina donde cuando quieran ellos ir. They're joint heirs. That is their father. Ese es tu padre. But someone else who wanted to go in there to cause harm. Pero alguien más que quiera ir que pueda causar peligro. Wouldn't even reach the door. No va ni a alcanzar la puerta. Every single one of us would know you have no access. Cada uno de nosotros sabrá que no tienes ningún acceso. If we can live and reside in the benefits of the presence of the Lord, si podemos vivir en la presencia, los beneficios de la presencia de Dios, then that would be our focus, not the things that we fight against. Entonces ese sería nuestro enfoque, no las cosas que nosotros peleamos en contra. I want to encourage you that you are fully loaded. Quiero alientarte que tú estás completamente cargado. When you feel like disqualifying yourself, remember God qualified you. Cuando tú te sientas que no estás calificado, recuerda, Dios te calificó. I want to have the leaders come up because we want to pray for you. Yo quiero que los líderes pasen al frente porque queremos orar por ti. If in your mind you have a question about your qualification for God's presence, si en tu mente tú tienes preguntas de las cualificaciones de la presencia de Dios, stop asking, it's already been answered. Para de preguntar, ya ha sido contestado. Come and receive what the Lord wants to give you. Ven y recibe lo que Dios quiere darte. If you have not received Christ as your personal savior, si no has recibido Cristo como tu personal salvador, if you haven't become that child which makes you the heir to si the no throne, si no te has convertido en ese hijo de Dios, I want you to come forward. Let us pray with you. Quiero que pases al frente. Déjanos orar por ti. You are going to make the best decision of your life. Tú vas a hacer la mejor decisión de tu vida. And if you've had doubts, y si tú tienes dudas, if you've accepted Christ but you are having doubts, you you, you are unsure. Si tú has aceptado a Cristo pero tienes dudas y no estás seguro, Let us pray with you. déjanos orar contigo. Find safety in the presence of the Father. Encuentra seguridad en la presencia de tu Padre. Become a lover of His presence. Conviértete en un amador de la presencia. As we sing this song, come forward. Mientras cantamos esta canción, pasa hacia adelante. We want to pray with you. Queremos orar contigo. of your life some people fear it they fear it because there is an uncertainty about what God can do next some people 
would rather stay in their slavery they'd rather stay in the slavery of sin because they feel they know what the outcome looks like but I want you to consider changing that today I know it's uncertain but there's one thing certain every time you decide God first you will be victorious you will be victorious you may not know what it's going to look like but you don't need to know all the small details of what it's going to look like we may go to war and we may lose a limb but I promise you you will live there's still time we only want to take a few more minutes but if you want to answer that call let today be the day don't let tomorrow come without making this decision today come on let's sing it out Sacrificio quiero dar Sacrificio quiero dar Y mi, mi vida dedicar Para adorarte oh. Sacrificio quiero dar Y mi, mi vida dedicar Para adorarte de tu presencia Come on church, sing soy with amante us. de tu presencia oh. soy amante de tu presencia Jesús soy amante de tu ready to give to the Lord today get ready to give God your very best this morning I love David and I told you I'll talk about him for a lifetime but it took David giving him everything I bet David while he was up in the hills 
Yo me imagino que David, mientras él estaba allá en las lomas, the only son all by himself up there, el, el único hijo que estaba allá solo, feeling like he was an outcast, sintiéndose como que él era uno que estaba fuera, what he said is, God, I'll give you everything. Lo que él dijo era, Dios, yo te doy todo. He said, he could have said, God, I, I, I'll, I'll just deal with the suffering, but he said, God, I'll give you everything. And because of all that he gave unto the Lord, which was his entire life, God said, I'm going to use you to influence this world. And God took him from the hills. He took him from the prairies to the palace. Come on, how many want to give unto the Lord this morning? Can we sing and worship God as we do it? Come on, let's all stand to our feet. We're going to give to the Lord this morning. The ushers are coming, they're going to come support us. Don't forget we have growth track on Wednesday. Don't miss it. That's where we're going to get to know God. We're going to find freedom. You're going to know your purpose. And we're going to make a difference. Hallelujah, right? So I'm going to pray you out this morning. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your presence, God, that never leaves us. We thank you because you're good. You're awesome. You're great, and we love you. Father, I bless everyone today, Father. I pray that your spirit would follow them home, that you would protect us from all evil or harm. Lord God, and we say this in the name of Jesus. God bless everyone. Have a great Sunday.